EQ8's new user interface was designed to make navigating through the program easier for all users. Every tool has a label, and most features that were previously only in the menus have been pulled out as buttons in the palettes. Let's take a walk through EQ8. We discussed the different work tables in another video. Quick review. You have the quote work table, block work table, and image work table, and you can navigate among them using these buttons here. Let's look at the workspace on the quote work table. At the top, there are tabs with a ribbon of options below the tabs. Clicking on a tab changes the options on the ribbon. Notice on some tabs, these little arrows appear. That's because there are more options available that can be displayed at a time. This all depends on your screen size. Some people may be able to see all the options, while others may only see a few. Clicking these arrows shows additional options for that tab. Now, watch as I click through each of the tabs. You'll notice there's always a box stocked on the left side of the workspace. This is called the palette. This palette changes with whichever ribbon option and tool you have selected. Here on the design tab, I've selected fabric tools. The palette has a selection of fabric tools in the toolbox at the top. Clicking on a tool displays different options below. You can always close a palette box by clicking this down arrow. This will help display more options if you're using a smaller screen space. Click the arrow again to open the box up. These palettes can also be enlarged to help see more options. Hover your mouse over the side of the palette, then drag it larger or smaller. This is mostly helpful when you have a palette that contains sketchbook content like blocks or fabrics. If you'd like to make general adjustments, go to File, Preferences. Under Display, you'll notice more ways to customize your workspace. Try a few of these options if you'd like. Some options require that you restart EQ8, so be sure your project is saved first. If you want to get your program back to the default settings, click on Restore, then click Restore Default Settings. This will revert your EQ8 back to its original settings. Putting a check in this box will also restore the default content of your palettes. Now, notice this gear button on the left toolbar. Clicking this button will open up the options dialog for the workspace in which you are currently viewing. I'm on the quote work table, so clicking this option will open the quote work table options dialog. When on the block work table, clicking this button will open the drawing board setup dialog to make adjustments to the drawing board. And finally, clicking this button on the image work table will display the image options dialog. Examine these dialogs to make your workspace work for you.